What's up, everybody? This your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV, and today I'm going to do a full review on a fragrance from the house of Milestone that I got at my local Marshalls. If you're not hip to Milestone, Milestone is a fantastic bargain brand, bargain band fragrance house that you can find at your local Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And this particular fragrance is a clone or a dupe, if you will, of a fragrance from the house of Amouage, Amouage Jubilation Man 25. And this particular fragrance has been hyped up on TikTok a little bit. Other fragrance reviewers has been getting hip to it as well. And my subscribers, some of you have been telling me to get my hands on this as quick as I can. And I've been hunting this bad boy down for a very long time and I finally got my hands on it. And I got the last one at my local Marshalls. But without further ado, let's just jump into it. So that particular fragrance from the house of Milestone, we have Mooj, if I pronounced that right, Jubilee 26. There you go. Here is a full presentation of the bottle. This fragrance ran me $15 and some change. As you can see, it is a very, very snug fit, so the cap is not really cheap. It snugs the uh, atomizer quite tightly. Now, if you're not hip to Milestone's atomizers on their fragrances, feast your eyes on this. Say less. I got no words. Beautiful. So, if I haven't mentioned it already, this is a clone of Amwaj's Jubilation. 25 and this one here the way that it smells very masculine and i mean that in a good way in a very very good way it has a ton of notes in this fragrance now i did some research on this fragrance as far as seeing if it had any unique note breakdown which it doesn't because one of the particular websites that i found the notes of was basically the same of jubilation man from Amwaj. Yeah, it's like a the same note breakdown. The same note breakdown. And when I tested out on my skin and was judging the notes based off the original, it added up quite nicely. So let's just jump into those notes. Ooh wee, this is a lot of notes. But in the top, you got some blackberry, alibinum, orange, labdanum, coriander, and tarragon. Now, in the opening, I get like this dark, rich, like some of the woozy, spicy, fruity notes when it comes to that alibinum, if I pronounced that right, and that orange gives it like some dry, like somewhat of a woozy spice in the opening. The blackberry is a little bit more of a dark, rich, kind of a synthetic fruitiness that you might get from the blackberry, but that you do get like a leathery accord though, because that labdanum actually gives it like a, a deep, somewhat of a powerful floral type of a leathery aspect to this fragrance in the top coriander woodsy spicy a little bit more of a green woodsy spice more fougere if you will then that tarragon it gives it more of a gives it more green spice you know a little bit of a herbaceous uh green spice in the opening once you transition into that mid though you get some honey gayak wood cinnamon bay leaf clove rose, orchid, and some celery seeds. So far, this note breakdown is quite unique and because that honey note is what really captivated my senses because it gives like this smooth, rich, syrupy, sweet type of a honey that is really, really bold once you transition to the mid, to my nose at least. Gayak wood, you get that deep, you know, masculine woodiness with that kayak wood, that cinnamon gives it more of a sparkly sweet spice, that bay leaf, a little bit more herbaceous, you know, of a green herbaceous like type of accord, along with that tarragon. And that tarragon transitions into the mid, not too dominant, but a little bit, you know, smooth and chill. But the clove, rose, orchid, orchid, and the celery, celery seeds. When it comes to that clove, you get like some green fougeriness that's earthy. You know, it gets some little bit of uh, some feminine white florals when it comes to that rose and that orchid, which is not too noticeable. You know, this is not like a feminine fragrance, but if you're a woman and you like this fragrance, you want to wear it, it's up to you. But it doesn't give out that uh, the rose and that orchid is not too dominant because all the other notes is just masculine and heavy. But the celery seeds, 
you know, not too much of a green, fresh uh, spice from the celery seeds. It's more of a earthy, fougere type of a note that's kind of dry and spicy when it comes to that celery seeds. But once you get into the mid though, a Papanox Argar Argo Argarwood, which is food, myrrh, patchouli, cedarwood, ambergris, and mortel, if I pronounced that right, musk, and oak moss. So, the oud. The oud, I do get in here. Not too dominant, a little bit synthetic, not a, you know, a well-rounded, you know, authentic type of a oud, but it's there and it doesn't smell that bad. You know, it, in, in terms of it being a little bit synthetic, it don't smell that bad, but you do get it, at least on my skin. You know, a Papanox, a little bit more of a warm, you know, ambery type of a sweetness that you get from the apopanox on my skin myrrh you give it even some more sweetness it make it even a little bit more warm the patchouli is dark green sweet mysterious earthy like type of a tone that it gives to this fragrance uh cedarwood more woods ambergris is a little bit more adds a little bit more animalic touch to it along with that musk it's a little bit more animalic and it's starting to, well, once it dries down, it becomes more suited for the older gentleman because of how mature it is. But it's not so mature to the point where it's like a dated smell, you know, like, you know, like 1980 type of a smell that you might get, you know, in terms of, you know, that those masculine notes that's in the base, you know, it, when you get those, like the notes of like, you know, orange and honey, and you get a little bit of, more of that rose and cinnamon and stuff like that, it kind of makes it a little bit more modern day to where, you know, at least the, the middle age on up can pull off because it does, it's not really dated. You know, it's very, very attractive. It's very, very captivating to your nose, depending on what your taste is. So overall, I just get this dry fruity, you know, sweet, warm, ambery, fougere type of a scent when it comes to this fragrance, which is very, very well done. In my opinion for a $15 and some change fragrance this has been done quite nicely I haven't smelled the original don't care to uh, smell the original because one it costs too much and if I can smell this smell the original in this for $15 and some change that's good enough for me so when it comes to the performance the performance was not bad at all I will say though the projection is not it's not there. It's not too much of a big projector, but if you were to overspray, you probably will get some projection. So uh, I will. I tested this at work. You know, when it was a little bit warm, this is not suitable for like you know outdoor activities where you're sweating or when your body heats up. This is more. I think it will be more adaptive to the fall and winter time in terms of the performance. It will perform better. But when it's warm outside, this is not the fragrance to uh, reach for. But yeah, the projection was good between like, you know, I say 45 minutes in the, to an hour, then it's that close to the scan. Total longevity was five to six hours on me. If you want more than that, always overspray. But when it comes to that uh, being like outdoors and stuff like that, for some reason, like if you be outdoors for a long period of time, this leaves your scan quite fast, at least on me. But I will recommend like, you know, saturating your skin with lotion to get like more performance more uh, projection, more longevity, that might help. But I will say this is more like, you know, casually, you know, going to the grocery store, going out with friends or going to the doctor's office and stuff like that where you're indoors. I think like this is more of an indoor climate controlled environment type of a fragrance that is best suited for that. Outdoors for a long period of time, no, 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 no. At least in the fall and winter time, it's cool. Seasons to wear this, like I said already, fall and winter time maybe springtime as well when it's a little bit cooler or moderate but based on the hefty warm balsamic type of a fougere type of a cord of course that you get inside of here is more suited for fall and winter time it's too heavy it's too warm too sweet you know to have like dr that dry leathery you know accord that's going on within this fragrance which is not suitable for you know hot weather in the summertime you know when it's like just human. No, not this one will be too cloying. And once you sweat, it's gone just like that. So I would say fall and winter time. Age group for this one. 
definitely middle age on up but it'd be more suited for like you know the mature older gentleman because it does have that note of agar wood which is like food and then you have labdanum which gives it like that deep powerful you know invasive leathery floor note but if you are it doesn't matter what age that you are if you like it where it but specifically i would say middle age on up so if you want my opinion should you buy Mooj Jubilee 26. In my opinion, if you are if you are a fan of like warm, sweet, balsamic, like like a slightly fougere type of a scent that's a little bit has a little bit more of a mature complexity to it, not too much of it of a complexity to it, and you want something a little bit different, I'll say go with this one. You know, this is not this is definitely a try before you buy. This is not like a blind buy. I highly recommend not to blind buy this. If you at your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx and it has the uh, this bottle outside of the box where you can test this out, I will highly recommend that you actually test this out, spray on your skin before you buy. You know, test it out for yourself. Spray it on yourself, walk around the store and see how it performs, and then make it the determination based off that. But blind buy worthy, this is not blind buy worthy. So tread softly when buying this one. So, that's all that I have for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you know what to do. You gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed and have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.